So today we're going to discuss a really unusual discovery coming from a distant galaxy of a type of an explosion known as a TDE, also known as a tidal disruption event, which basically involves a star being destroyed or spaghettified by some kind of a black hole, but in this case coming from an extremely unusual, never before seen region. A region you see right here. And the reason this is unusual is because it seems to be not in the center of the galaxy, despite the fact that it should be. And so in this video we're going to discuss exactly why this is so unusual and what this means, and talk about what seems to be the first ever detection of a rogue supermassive black hole. And so let's discuss this in a little bit more detail, but here let's start with a slightly older study based on simulations that you can also find right here. And so in this particular study, researchers wanted to figure out how many supermassive black holes we can potentially expect all over the place based on the idea of galactic collisions and the fact that most galaxies seem to contain supermassive black holes in the center. And to their surprise, they discovered that in the first two billion years of the universe, these wandering or rogue supermassive black holes seem to outnumber and even outshine pretty much everything in a typical galaxy, even the central black hole that we expect to find in most galaxies. And so the main prediction in this study is for the existence of lots and lots of rogue or I guess wandering supermassive black holes that should be located pretty much everywhere but usually kind of invisible. With many of them located a little bit away from the center as they're basically either escaping or entering a typical galaxy. And in their simulation galaxies like the Milky Way seem to even host up to about 12 supermassive black holes but mostly in the halo of the galaxy far away from the center. Except that in this case all of these wandering black holes would be completely invisible. Mostly because they don't seem to possess any accretion disks and don't really have much to interact with in order to produce any emissions. But this was obviously theoretical and completely unproven. But naturally there's always that one way to see black holes from really far away. If a supermassive black hole encounters a star, it will almost always result in a TDE, tidal disruption event, an event predicted back in the 70s but first observed in the 1990s. And in this case, this is the famous spaghettification of a star. When any star gets close enough to a typical supermassive black hole, massive tidal forces break it apart, sending it spiraling down into the event horizon. But as a result, this also produces enormous emissions very often visible from millions and even billions of light years away, especially if this black hole produces very powerful astrophysical jets. These jets seem to appear in at least 1 to maybe even 3% of all TDEs. And while as of 2025 over a hundred such events have already been discovered and observed using different telescopes, because they're usually visible in the optical, infrared, radio and x-ray light and are usually some of the brightest events for at least a few months. And because they're so bright and so powerful, ZTF or Zwicky Transient Facility has been exceptionally good at detecting them. This is an automated facility able to detect sudden explosions and report them within just minutes. And well, one such event happened just a few months ago in 2024. This was known as AT2024 TVD. And the initial observations once again reported a spaghettification of a star. Here the emissions resembled a formation of the accretion disk and the emissions coming from a relatively massive black hole. A black hole that's at least a million solar masses. Not as massive as the one in the center of the Milky Way, but massive enough. And while normally TDs disappear after a few months, and so here quite a lot of telescopes tuned in in order to analyze this as much as possible. And that's because even when it comes to TDEs, scientists already discovered quite a few different mysteries. For example, not so long ago, we discussed the strange mystery of delayed TDEs, or basically tidal disruptions that actually seem to not happen right away, but usually suddenly happen within three years. Which is why for astronomers, TDEs are usually some of the most exciting events. But here, once telescopes like Hubble, Chandra, and the very large array started to look at this, they seem to have discovered something entirely different. Because strangely enough, this TD was not in the center of the galaxy and the center seemed to also contain another black hole. As a matter of fact, the central black hole was much more massive and was also producing certain x-rays and certain optical emissions, but just not as much. And further analysis discovered that this is about 2600 light years away 
from the center. And so here these black holes were not orbiting and were not at all related. As a matter of fact, the supermassive black hole in the center seems to be at least 100 times more massive. And so the black hole that produced the tidal disruption event seems to be just traveling through the galaxy. Which technically makes this the first official confirmation for the existence of these wandering or rogue black holes. The first such black hole discovered in a galaxy approximately 600 million light years away from us. And here additional observations confirm that this is definitely not a binary system and not a galaxy containing two black holes. And so this new explosion came from a black hole nobody knew existed. With the black hole very likely traveling across, but right now it's not entirely clear if it's actually coming in or leaving. In other words here, we're not really sure if this is some kind of a galactic merger or if this is a result of a black hole being kicked out from the center of the galaxy, possibly as a result of some kind of a three-body interaction, or a near passage with the other black hole that already existed here. For example, if this is a three-body interaction, it means that there must be a second black hole somewhere in the center as well. And so if this is a three-body problem, and if this is basically a third black hole that got kicked out of the system, here it's very likely something that happened approximately a million years ago with this third black hole now escaping the galaxy. With all of this suggesting that this is a result of a galactic collision. But naturally, the actual explanation is still just an assumption. Since we have no additional observations and no evidence for anything else, the only thing we know for sure is that there is definitely a second supermassive black hole 2600 light years away from the center. But exactly what's happening in the galaxy itself is currently unknown. Right now, this is the only image we have from the Hubble Space Telescope. This is basically your typical elliptical galaxy. But because scientists were able to discover this galaxy and this TDE out of approximately 100 other TDEs, it means that these rogue black holes are very likely extremely common. In essence, confirming that hypothesis from 2021 that suggested typical galaxies should actually contain dozens of these black holes around their halo. Which of course means that even for the Milky Way galaxy, there should technically be a bunch of these black holes, these wandering supermassive black holes, somewhere within approximately several hundred thousand light years away from planet Earth. But since the only way to detect them is through these TDEs, and normally these are not very common, it's extremely unlikely we're going to find any of them anytime soon. Although once scientists discover more of these wandering black holes, and once it becomes possible to statistically analyze where we usually find them, one day it might become possible to locate another supermassive black hole around the Milky Way. But right now, since this is the first such discovery, we don't really know much else. With new telescopes and new observations, it might become possible to learn more. But until then, check out some of the previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.